What's up, YouTube? It's Zapdos TCG here, and thanks again for watching our TCG battle video. Today, we're gonna play with Passimian. That's right, monkey business today, uh, because this deck has actually been performing quite well at recent regionals, and I want to see what the fuss is all about with this monkey. So, we're dealing uh, 30 damage for each of our bench Passimian plus the base damage of 10, which means if we have a full bench of Passimian, we dish out 100. But we also have another Passimian here. This is going to be the one from uh, Ultra Prism with Power Huddle. Uh, if you're facing evolution type Pokemon, you dish out an additional 30 damage for each one of those Passimians on the bench. So that is a maximum of 160 for a DCE. There's going to be a crazy amount of damage against Zorak. You're gonna have an awesome time. There's also gonna be a couple of tech cards in here like Deoxys, Latios, and Mimikyu. We're relying on counter energy so that could work here. And uh, the Psychic seems to be very hot at the me in the meta right now thanks to Molomar. Also, uh, Magical Swap is awesome if you just use uh, the uh, damage of Shrine of Punishment and a couple of Flying Flips. You're definitely gonna have a lot of damage counters and that's why this list is doing as well as it is. Also, Energy Lotto will make sure you're gonna have that first turn attachment even though we're only running eight energies. We have DCE to work with and of course, Counter Energy. There's a Escape Board because everything has one retreat cost or zero retreat cost for the Cocos and uh, this list all, all runs three counter catches because we do plan on falling behind to then rely on the Magical Swap to win ourselves the game. So that's going to be the list for today. Hopefully you're gonna enjoy uh, us uh, checking out the Simeon. Uh, let me know what your uh, what deck are you currently uh, testing it around with. This is uh, one of the first times we're gonna feature a Passimian on the channel with the updated uh, Tapu Lele strategy with Magical Swap. So I wonder if Shrine of Punishment will do uh, as much as it is promised because Shrine of Punishment is kind of a huge card in the meta right now. Hopefully we face something like a Zoroark so we can showcase why Passimian is doing as well as it is. We are facing probably a Molomar spread deck, so oof, not the best matchup in the world for us. Although, if they're relying on Shining Lugia, we hit for weakness against that with Coco. We won the coin flip, so I think I want to go first. Because those decks usually want to get out their Molomars early game. And we have a Coco to work with, uh, so we might as well set our bench right up here. I wonder what the opponent will be running here. World Championship sleeves. Very, very cool. And we see Deoxys, so definitely a Molomar variant. Um, first thing first, I'm going to check with Acrobike what we possibly can grab. We have a Passimian and a Nazbol, definitely gonna grab that Passimian. Nazbol can just wait. That is our second Passimian in play. Gonna give a choice band to yeah, the Passimian. We are also going to rely on one energy lotto. We definitely need a double Carlos energy attachment this turn. And no, not a counter energy attachment, although we cannot attack. Uh, our first turn of the game, so we might as well grab it and just attach it because this turn doesn't even matter too much. One counter energy goes over here or over there, doesn't even matter. Don't think he's gonna get out uh, his uh, G axis because it's, yeah, lightning in the deck, probably Coco. Okay, two Nazbos, perfect. So, what will we grab? We need Magical Swap is in here, Latios is prized, so Deoxys as well. Oof. But all of our Passimians are in there. Let's check out the energies right here. Three DCEs. Okay, I can live with that. I'm gonna get all of our Passimians out. So gonna give this guy a choice band. So they all have choice bands right now. And we are ready to dish out for crazy amounts of damage. Next turn we Cynthia. Hopefully we draw one of those DCEs. We only have three of them in the deck. So uh, we're gonna have to be careful here. If we don't draw into it, we have to rely on attaching another counter energy. So right now, our Passimian, believe it or not, is dishing out 100 damage against basics and 160 damage against evolution Pokemon. So in this scenario, we're definitely gonna have to rely on our first turn flying flip, otherwise Passimian will never get the one hit KO on a Deoxys. We could rely on our own strategy here if he relies on something like a Power Blast. That way we can make use of the Mimikyu in the deck to rely on counter energy to copy that attack. So also a spread deck here, he has the Coco ready, uh, he's using Guzma and he's going to target the one with the counter energy here. Very interesting because right now we can just attach another counter energy because we won't fall behind in prize cards, we're gonna get that Nazbol going on and get our scores. Maybe another Coco out, we could copy attacks with Mimikyu so that could also be fun. Maybe we're gonna grab that. I think the only thing we need to do is just knock out this Coco. He only has a Deoxys in play, so it's gonna be very easy. I don't know what the opponent was thinking. We have, of course, access to a lot of these cards. Let's get a Choice Band onto the Mimikyu. Going to get that counter, uh, actually the Acrobite going. We need Cynthia as a better draw supporter, in my opinion. And then Energy Lotto. 
gonna get the, we're gonna keep the uh, ahead in price card so dce will do the trick here and that's going to be it so team play for brazilian damage 200 and the opponent will definitely feel that because he's he doesn't have anything to respond with he has the oxes we can also attach a counter to the oxes but uh, then we dish out 20 40 60. yeah 120 hey that's perfect if he attaches a DCE, that is 20 for every energy, that means 20 damage, 40 damage, 60 damage. Oh, now I understand the Deoxys. Okay, retreat into Coco, get Deoxys on board with a DCE, and he's going to be history. We are not afraid at all here. Even though we cannot one-shot Deoxys, Deoxys came just in time to one-shot Deoxys, so how funny is that? Maybe we draw into a Guzma. No Guzma this time around, but at least we have our Deoxys ready. Uh, right now we don't need to rely on any uh, shenanigans so we can uh, safely get of course our uh, Gladian action going on because we don't need anything from Cynthia. So let's check what we might possibly grab here. Uh, if I just see it right now we're gonna have another DCE ready so I'm going to grab our Guzma since we only run two Guzmas and we're gonna be ahead and prize cards. Okay let's retreat safely into the Deoxys. And Deoxys will eat Deoxys up alive. So that's how Deoxys mirrors work. Kind of reminds me of the X Ball days of U2 EX. There was, here was the DCE. I wonder if it was shuffled around. I want to check that. Okay, it is shuffled around. Okay, was to be expected, but we already have energies in the hand, plenty of them, as it is. So we're gonna see energy attachment. Molomar, are we gonna see Molomar? Looks like this version is uh, completely not doing things well here. I wonder why he uh, guzma out our Pessimian. He should have guzma out one with one retreat cost. That was my opinion here. Okay, only dishing out 40 is not enough. Uh, counter energy will not work. Hmm. We can use State and Liza to switch around. I think that's a, a sweet idea. DC over here, swapping around. Shh. Yeah, that's also something you can do with Tate and Liza. We don't always need to draw if you have everything in the hand. And here comes the team play. That's going to be 70. So that's perfect. Even one baby attackers like this. Come on. <laughs> okay, Latio shows up. That's good. Okay, this Mewtwo does have 120 HP, but actually it has 140 because it has the pressure ability, making sure that uh, it receives 20 less damage. That means what dishes out 140? Well, that's going to beat the Oxus here with the Power Blast. With the weakness here, so 20, 40, 60. Yeah, if he catch all of his energies, we can destroy him with, of course, our Deoxys. But we have Guzma. I think I'm gonna target the NK, that's the most important threat right here. You two can wait, only two energies, we cannot destroy that. So, yeah, let's target this guy. And we will retreat into our Simeon once again. We will never be behind the prize card, so we might as well attach this to to the Coco. Here comes the play. Bam! Okay, what now? We got the DCE right here. Okay, I'm just not getting that DCE from the prize card, so it seems, even with Gladion. And there is still one Gladion in that. Uh... Okay, Guzma, the Deoxys, Energy, and KO. Cool. Good news is still have one DCE left in the deck and we have our rescue stretcher for Deoxys. So I think it's kind of cool. We have a skateboard. We're gonna wait with the rescue stretcher now that I think about it because... Hmm. Here comes the skateboard for you. I don't know. What am I doing here? Retreat! Okay, we only dish out right now 70, that's only 50. We're gonna see the KO here. 50 is not a lot. Or we can turn that around to 80. 80 is a good number. Well, my flip will not work against this guy, so we're still in a difficult situation. We're gonna wait with the, the, the rescue stretcher. We can might as well surprise him with our Deoxys later down the line. Here comes team play. Bam. 50. So he has 70 HP remaining. That means Mimikyu can knock him out. 
but also Electro Ball if we happen to be behind in prize cards. Now, I'm gonna sacrifice this Mimikyu here. We might uh, get the better opportunity here. We only need two more prize cards. There comes Lunala Prism Star. Wow, all of his cards are just so shiny in his head. Look at that. Even the old school uh, Ultra Ball, which is very expensive nowadays. And we're just fooling around here with our Pseemon. So this Mewtwo is very, very annoying since Flying Flip does not work. Your opponent's active Pokemon's attack deal 20 less damage. Okay. Judge to 4. I like that. I like that a lot. We have a Guzma to work with, but... Counter catch but still not work. Maybe we should have gotten out Deoxys immediately with the rescue stretcher, but we still have two more turns to be behind in prize cards. What do we need? A Lily will not work. Flying flip will not work. A Lily for two. I'm gonna try out underground expedition. Let's see what we can find here. A shrine and one of the Wow, this is not cool. Not cool indeed. We can get two cards. Oh, that is perfect. The shrine will not matter at all. So let's get our Pokemon on board. Uh, blah, it doesn't even matter. They're the same card. Next turn we have access to Counter Catcher and Counter... Nah, not really. We are just in a weird situation right here. We might as well lose this one. Where are our double cards energy? Two in the discard. Not a lot of energy to, to wor work with right here. We're going to retreat. He's only dishing out 100, so this Coco will be safe for now. I wonder if we um, are going to be able to do anything about it. He's building up Lunala Prism Star. While we are in a struggle to recover, we definitely wanted to have that Deox is ready. Maybe we should have gotten it out with Rescue Stretcher, but then he would have already seen through our plan. Maybe he would have used Guzma. Only already two Guzmas, but this list runs like two or three Guzmas, or maybe even... Oh, okay, doesn't even matter, our Deox would have been destroyed anyhow. Full Moon Star! Okay, setting up Lunala. Okay. Good. Okay, this is the active. Okay. We can Guzma something out. We need a DC and a rescue stretcher. Do we still have a skateboards? I wonder. Oh well, let's go with a Cynthia. Come on. Rescue stretcher. That is cool. That way we can get out of the oxys or Maybe more things? Come on! <laughs> a skateboard. That is fine. How much damage is this guy doing? The amount of energy that to all Pokemon. Wow, that is a lot. We will see the discard here. Rescue stretcher. Uh... We're gonna shuffle three of them in. It's the best thing here we can do. No energies inside. <laughs> we are gonna retreat into the Coco once again. I'm gonna sacrifice that one. Maybe should have retreated to this one, but this one already has an energy. Oh wow, this is how the Simeon turns around in the late games. Escape a rope. Copycat. Simeon. Not an evolution Pokemon, so we're definitely gonna be in a lot of trouble. Take our Mimikyu for now. Cynthia, wow. We are definitely not gonna win this one. We're gonna play another one, um, another game soon, so I want to see here when you're whiffing energy, what happens with the Simeon. Early game is kinda like, wow, this list is very good, it runs very fast, but against strategies like this. Counter Catcher, which we still are not able to use because we're so ahead in the prize race. Four energies, wow. Okay. Here 
Camp Coco once again. Still not having access to Counter Catcher sucks, and we cannot play down Shrines because they are already there. So, Cynthia, hopefully we draw into something good here. DCE, Deoxys. We have Deoxys, but we don't have DCE. How many rescue stretchers have we already used? Only one, wow. Swear, the DCE, we, we whip on DCE, so... Just gonna pass the turn here, wow. Gonna get the KO if he retreats. TV reporter. Oh, this is uh, based on the first place winning list in Japan with TV reporter getting energies into this card pile. Whiffing on energies is definitely not fun. Okay, we survived this hit. DC, come on. <laughs> A lily. Interesting. Let's get this on board. Lily, come on, DC, where you at? Okay, counter energy still doesn't work. Still doesn't work. Three Guzmas in his discard pile. Well, our Deoxys will now see the discard, but then we have X. Ah, this is not gonna work. Not gonna work at all. Guess we're gonna be uh, losing this one, guys. I'm just gonna let him uh, get that victory. Not gonna concede. I wanna see here. Another TV reporter, two of them. So you see the strength and weakness of the Psymian. So two psychic type Pokemon, we are weak against psychic. We have Lele. Oh, Lele can dish out some damage. 2060. Huh. Lele, 20 damage. 60. Minus the 20. <laughs> We're not gonna get the one hit KO on Mewtwo regardless, so might as well knock the that. Yeah, we're gonna knock that Prism Star for the memes of it. I know we lost already, but I just want to do that. So uh, we waved on the energies, that's how it goes sometimes, but at least... Oh, we don't even one-shot it because it's not weak against Darkness. Wow, I deserve to lose here. Doesn't even matter too much, so this guy is weak to Darkness. And uh, we will see uh, Mewtwo coming back here and getting the KO here. Okay, we're gonna play another round with the Singing. And see if it works better in another game, because late game I whiffed on um, all of my energy, so... Very strangely enough, even though we run 4 energy lotto, didn't get the energy at the right time, and that cost us the game. Although, very, it's very, very quick in the early phases. Come on. We face Metal, Psychic, Carlos. That can mean... Duskmane. Could be Duskmane or Matagross. See Matagross coin. We won the coin flip, so we are gonna go first because we want to have our setup once again and we don't want to whiff on energy once again. Oh wow, no supporters in hand, but at least we have an energy lotto. And underground expedition. Two cards from the bottom, could be fun. Mega Mewtwo sleeves, cool. Okay, it's Belden. We're gonna place down the shrine immediately. Also gonna smack down Energy Lotto, DCE, where you at? No DCE in sight, two Pacinians in there, cool. Underground, Expedition. I want these two, I think that's okay. I just don't understand the bottom of the deck choices. Unless you're playing Luker, I guess. Oh, here is the DCE. Let's get rid of Mimikyu in this matchup. This list does not run an ass hammer. I would be surprised if it did. So, gonna attach that energy and we're gonna pass the turn. Oof, Garboder? We have two energies already. Wow. Garboder and the Metagross list. Everybody's running by Garboder nowadays. 
Wow. The shrine is down. Nobody's relying on that ball. No Tapu Lele shenanigans here. Golden unit energy. Hmm. I wonder if we will get on a top deck supporter soon because this looks very grim. We do have Guzma, we can retreat with counter energy, but that's not the way I want to do that. Can evolve into Metagross if you can leave that Orangu stuck in the active. Could also work since he's not running double Garlic energy. I think so. Thinking of Wow with his Ultra Ball Search. And he gets out another belt. He's going to rely on Instruct. Come on. Yeah, Instruct for one. Hopefully, they are GXs. If they are not GXs, we're gonna have a lot of troubles ahead of us. This does not look good. Well then. Flying flip it is. We could Guzma out that Oranguru, but what good would that do? At least we dished out a 100 damage in total, so he evolves basically into Matang. And Steven's resolve. Oh wow. Wow, we're gonna see a couple of Metagrosses soon. Right now, I definitely want to just uh, use Guzma and just make that stuck so he doesn't use Algorithm GX. Counter energy. Still, we have two counter energies to work with, so I'm just gonna do that strategy. I'm just gonna drag that Oranguru to the active, and we will retreat because we are dead drawing. That's how it goes sometimes. Flying flip. Wow, that is actually a lot of fun with the flying flip. Already so much damage on the board, and since he's playing Steven's resolve, that might me think that he's playing this kind of Metagross, getting another Steven's resolve, presumably. Rare Candy. Okay, this is going to be a lot of trouble. Meteor Mash. Basic Metagrosses. One prize attackers of 170 HP. Another Steven's Resolve. He's going to end the turn, okay. <sighs> Harsh. Hopefully this list does not run a lot of max potions, otherwise our flank flips will be kind of useless. And Shrine is also useless in this matchup. Oh boy. Come on, draw supporter, where are you at? Oh, Pishy Geo shuffles are real. Flying flip. Hey, we got a KO. Little Baldum didn't survive. And we got a draw supporter for so, wow. At least we have that. All the counter catchers are pretty much useless right now because we're ahead in the prize race and against the one prize attacking deck. Max Potion heals off Metacross. He's still stuck in the active though. Maybe he can rely on something like a switch and an energy. Guzma. Okay. Meteor Mash, 60 damage. Oh, Garboder is also in town. We only use two items so that we're kinda good against Garboder. It's the promo one. Very nice. And uh, Pisidian survives, but Coco will not survive. Do we give an energy? I guess we do. We have to retreat here. Could have also used State Eliza to retreat, but we need a fresh hand. And I'm not sure if I can draw an energy out of that, Cynthia. Metal frying pans. Oof, scary. Let's get this on board. That ball. Guy. Another Nuzball. There's no use getting Lele out because we still don't have access to. How many counter energies left in the deck? Two. Only two DCEs. Wow. Harsh. I'm gonna keep that energy to the Pissimian. He might as well attack once. Retreat! Comes another flying flip. Bam! 80, 80, 80. That is a good number. That's a very good number. Now he's dishing out 120 with his meteor mash. 
If we're behind Brass Guard, we can manipulate all that damage if he doesn't rely too much on Max Potion. Don't know how many Max Potions he runs. Baby Metagross. Wow. Who knew we, we would have faced this today? All these one price attacking decks. Oh boy. Okay, we have Rescue Stretch, so we can get back our Coco. Which is something I'm gonna do. How many items in our discard pile? Doesn't even matter too much. That Guard Voter will see the discard soon. Yeah, we already used way too many items regardless. Not behind in Price Guards, we need DCE. Okay, we have DCE to work with. Ooh, Tapu Lele. Tapu Lele plays. I wonder. I'm gonna keep the hand that I have right now. I'm gonna go into the Coco. Again, dishing out more damage. Could have also retreated into the Simeon here, but I'm gonna wait for that. Even though we're not doing anything against the active Metagross, dishing out a lot of damage with Flying Flip. 100, 100. Oh, hopefully he doesn't have a max potion right now. <laughs> Otherwise, we will be screwed. Field Blower gets rid of the Shrine. Frying Pan is very annoying though. Could have dealt one, 140. No. 130 thanks to the Frying Pan against that Metagross. Okay, he's healing that off. Ultra Ball. Metagross will keep pummeling ours with a lot of damage. That's only 60, okay, I have a little bit of a plan. I have a little bit of a plan, okay, cool. First things first, we are gonna dispose of that annoying Garboder. With our Pessimian and the Counter Energy. I'm gonna get this on board. Gonna get a nest ball going along. Gonna get another Coco in play. Don't do. We are weak to metal. Oof, not a smart idea. Skateboard over here. And then we are going to just use team play for the KO and that guard motor. Four prize cards for prize cards. That's how it goes. How <laughs> two copycats. One flying flip will get the KO on that Oranguru. He has two of those Metagrosses in play. He can rely on Steven's resolve to get everything he wants. The good news is he's only dishing out 60 damage, so we will stay alive this turn. Shuffling back everything. How many Steven's resolve? Two of them in the discard. Two max potion. Okay, Steven's resolve. Max potion is back to cause a lot of trouble. Is there going to be four max potions in the list? Hopefully there's a couple of them prized. I don't want to see him healing up Oranguru and the Metagross here. Nasbo. This is a long match. Okay, Trubbage is back. Metagross won't hit us with a one hit KO. Cool, no max potions. I like that. Choice banned for the memes of it. And here comes Copycat for four. Banned. No energy lotto shenanigans. Let's just slap this down. We can retreat if we want to. He's going to just one shot us regardless. One stretcher over here. Two DCEs. Not gonna be doing a lot here. Flying flip. I'm gonna sacrifice a Coco here. Keeping our Pessimian alive is key. Attack, so it's slowly evolving. And 
think our boater as well. Wow, we are in a lot of trouble. Meteor Mash, getting the KO. Okay, now we are behind the prize cards. Which is good. Hmm, what do we get? These guys have a lot of retreat, right? Tate and Liza. Come on. Stuff. What do we need? Okay, we have a counter energy to work with. We can one shot this Metagross, but then oh, one of those Garboders will show up. Flying Flip is a little bit better. Since we. How many counter energies? Wow, all of them. We cannot attach it, otherwise we can no longer rely on the Lele. But we get a KO. We get a KO. And Oranguru is gone as well. Here we go. And the Metagross is... Okay, DCE, that is good. This Metagross is stuck, which is cool. He can attack for 60, but it's not gonna do... Oh my god, Max Potion. Oh boy, maybe we should have one-shotted it. It's a long battle. Again, 60. Cannot rely on counter-catchers this turn. Wow, what a crazy match. Crazy video. Lele is useless drought. Shrine is useless. Retreats into Simeon. We have a stretcher. How many TCEs do we still have left? <laughs> One. Wow. There's no way in hell we could win, I think. 160. Flying Flip will get the KO here. If we're behind in price cards. Goku can still use the flying flip. Woo. Baby Metagross. Not the best matchup for Pasimian, but at least you see how Pasimian plays. It's way better against GX attackers like Zoroark or Galisopod or whatever. Not against one prize monsters like this. 170, what the hell? Cynthia, hopefully, uh, he, he already has the energy, but three max potions doesn't make it easy for us. Three mana grows, now there's three of them facing us down. Lucky for us, it has a four treat cost, so it's very, very nice that it's stuck in the active. Still have access to counter catchers. How many Guzmas in this discard? One. Wow. That is not a lot. Okay, we have a counter catcher here, cool. Let's grab. Yeah, let's grab the Oran Guru, let's make him sweat. Wanna shuffle a bunch of Pokemon back in. We go Cynthia for six. We will one shot this Metagross, so hopefully that Orangu stays nice and shift swiftly in the active. Also gonna check in with Nazball, we still have. Okay, one DCE that is good. Here we go, flying flip. Bam! Still not giving up though. Two prize cards. He also needs two prize cards. But we have 50 HP remaining. So if he gets a Metagross in the active, we're done. Also, Garboder is quite trapped with our bazillion items in our discard pile. But I'm just glad that I got to showcase the deck and uh, what it's capable of. So, energy coming over here. Guzma. Lots of Guzmas. 
Yeah, there is a Guzma play coming. And there comes the Trash Lancer. Oh boy. That is not looking good. Two Guzmas in his discard. Three Steven's Resolve, two Guzma. Does he run more than two Guzma in a deck like this? With so much stuff in there. I wonder. He doesn't want to Guzma, otherwise he resetting the medium mash effect. So I wonder. We could knock him out with the Sinian. We don't have another Guzma. Acrobite. <laughs> Again, Acrobite. Counter Catcher. Counter Catcher or the Energy. With Counter Catcher, we can make something stuck, use a couple of flying flips, and maybe win the game that way. Otherwise, he will come with this, and we're just no way in hell we can destroy that. So I think we need to hang on to the Counter Catcher, and hopefully, he doesn't have another Guzma. Hopefully. So let's target down this guy again. That is our main plan of action right now. And five cards, seven in the deck. I'm gonna increase our chances a little bit. I'm drawing five cards. So this Dalmite will have to go down and this Dark Boulder for us to win the game. A retreat! So we have five turns, this is a clock. Hopefully it doesn't have a Guzma, that's their only plan of winning. Unless he just has two more attachments. How many energies? Two, three, four. He's definitely gonna have an energy here. Let it be stuck. Oh, energy. That is scary. If he, if he has another energy, we'll, we're, we'll be done for. 60. Hmm. Yeah, that's going to be his game plan. If he has an energy, he wins. Oh no. Max Potion? Okay. This is annoying. With Oranguru, he can draw, so he's definitely gonna get that energy next turn. It was our best game plan. They all have two retreat. Maybe we should have gotten after Madagros, otherwise, Madagros would have attacked. Nah. Could have grabbed the prize card with the Simeon, but that's never going to just Frank Pan again. What is there in our prize cards? It is nothing to work with. One energy and he wins the game. It's as simple as that. What is it? It was a fun game playing with the Simeon, right? 20 on everything. Is there going to be an energy? Then he's going to rely on the trash Lange. Five cards in the hand. Okay, there is an energy, and I'm, we're gonna say well played. So we didn't win it with Persimmon, but at least I showed you how what the deck is capable of, and uh, it actually sets up, but sometimes it breaks you with energies. It happens. So anyhow, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to demolish the like button as always, and subscribe for more Pokemon TCG content. Have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.